For the following exercises, use the function values for f and g shown in table 3 to evaluate each expression. Okay, so now we are evaluating expressions from composite functions, which are all eight of these from a table. So no calculations here. All we got to do is just understand and know how to grab values from a table. Okay, so tips and tricks all the way down here. The first thing is, is we remember with composite functions, we did tons of problems already with composite functions. You're always going to work from inner to outer function. And the first thing is, is you got to find out where the X value is for the inner function, right? So for the first one, it says F of G of X, which function is the inner function? I got two functions here. I got F and I got G. The innermost function is always the one that's inside more parentheses. So in this case, it would be the G function. It's inside these parentheses. So that's where you're going to start. So I'm going to just take it up here. G of X equals, we have to solve for that first. The number that is in the parentheses, in this case, it's an eight, is the corresponding X value. Now you just got to figure out what the corresponding Y value is. Okay, well, hmm, Y value, but I see the X here, but I don't see a Y. Just know that F of X, G of X, H of X, you know, Q of X, they are all fancy ways of saying Y. So this um, row would be basically the Y for the F function. And this row is the Y values for the G function. Okay. Now we just got to figure out what the Y, fun the Y number is for this. Okay, well, we're in the G. This is the uh, X value. So I'm going to go to X, go all the way to where it says 8. And now I got to go down to where it says the G function. It's this guy, four. So I'm just going to put that over here. G of eight is four. Now we're ready to go to the outer function. The outer function here was F. And what's the number that I'm going to plug in? Well, over here, it says we're going to use that new value that you solved for, for the X on the outer function and figure out what the Y is. So this number four is now turning into the X value for the F function. So now I got to look X equals four. What's the corresponding Y function for the F graph? It is four and that's it. That's the answer to the first one. Okay. Let's work across, I guess. doesn't really matter to me. Let's work across. So the next one, f of g of 5. The inner function here is g of 5. g of 5. The 5 is the x value. So I'm going to x of 5. We want to know what the output is, the y value is, for the g function. So I got to look at this column or row. Whatever. And 5 corresponds with 8. So that's the first part. g of 5 equals 8. And now the outer function was F, you use that number and that is now your new X value. So now X is eight. We got to go to the F value, the F function, and that is start from here. Oh, it's nine. Okay. That's the answer to the second one. Just erase all these. Okay. Next one, g of f of 5. Inner function is f of 5. The 5 is the x. So the 5 is, if we're going to the f, it is right here. Sorry, if we're going to the x, it's 5 right here, right? Now we got to look at the f graph. So just follow down the f graph, 0. That would be the corresponding number for the first part. And now you take that number and plug it in into the outer function. The outer function is the G function. And now use that answer. That's your new X value. 
So now I'm at an X of zero. They're looking for a G. So I got to go all the way down to the G and that's telling me that it's a nine. And that is the answer to the third one. Okay, let me erase and let's keep going. G of F of three, inner function, always inner first. Inner is F of three. F of three, and remember that's the X value. F of three, the three for the X is here. We gotta go down to the F value. That's right here, eight. Now we go to the outer function, g of 8, because you always plug that number in, and that is your new x value. So let's see, the new x value is an 8. We're going to the g function, so that's a 4. And there you go. That's the answer for the fourth one. Halfway there. Okay, now let's just quickly do the bottom ones. f of f of 4. F of 4 is the inner. This is your corresponding X value. 4 for the X. You got to go down to the F. That's a 4. Use that number to plug in, right? And basically it's the same thing because we literally just did it. So it would be 4 again. And that is your answer. But if you wanted to go with the table, that's fine too. 4x is here, drop down to another f, and there's the 4 again. Next one, f of f of 1. f of 1 is the inner function, f of 1, and that is the x value. So 1 over here on the x, they're telling me that it's an f function, so I go down to the f function, which is 6, and now we move to the outer function f of, because the outside was f, f of 6. And that's your new x function. So 6 is over here for the x. I got to go down to the f. It's a 2. And there you go. Pretty simple, right, guys? No math. Well, no calculation. No calc No calculator. Um, just using the graph. g of g of 2. Inner function is g of 2. This is your x value. 2 is over here on the x. You got to go down to g. So that's a 6. Now we're doing the outer function. It also was a g, but you're plugging in your answer from before. That is your new x value. 6 on the x. We got to go down to a g. That's seven, and that is your answer. Last but not least, g of g of six, inner function g of six. This is your x value that you're looking for. Six on the x, we have to go down to a g function. The y is a seven, so that's the answer to the first part. And then use that and plug it in for the new x value, right? Boop. And it's a g on the outside, that's why I have a g here. And now we do the same thing. So now the x, the new x, and I'll put that over here. The new x is a 7, we gotta go down to the g, it is a 3. And that is the answer to the last one. And guys, that's it. That's as simple as it is. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If this video helped you at all, click the like button. Smash the subscribe button if you want to help us out. Um, keep up the hard work. You guys got this. Math is fun. Um, yeah, and I'll be here every step of the way for you guys, all right? So I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Have a great day. Keep studying hard. You got this. See you next time. Bye-bye.